from the Steel City of Pittsburgh comes our live telecast. We're here today for our third broadcast of the season. Both of these teams ready to add a victory to their record as the Jets square off against the Steelers. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. Spielman is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Simeon. And they're ready to go on offense for the first time. Good matchup today. One of the best quarterbacks in the league taking on one of the toughest defenses. Now defensively here, John, what do you think they're thinking? Well, I think they're going to have to shut down those short slant routes and deep outside corners first. Force your offense to throw short and over the middle. Let your big hitters make those wide receivers think twice. Throws it. They like to throw it to the sidelines in situations Mays, like that. The intended receiver throw was just a little way. off. Mays was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. They'll go with a play fake with the pass. This one falls incomplete. He somehow got that pass. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous, and he has to get rid of the ball. Third and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Williams, the lone back, drops back. Going for the deep man. Gets his hand up. And he held on. That would have been a very big game. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. From the 44. Shepard has a decent return, taking it to the 42. First and 10. Only one man back. Pressure. Big time lick. When you play man to man that well, it limits a quarterback's option, and it'll result in a sack sometimes. Second and 15. Ball on the 47 yard line. Hold the look. The Jets line up in a 4 3. Gives the ball off. Setting up play action with the pass. He decided to try and pass it, but he was taking so much heat that it just kind of wobbled out of there. Third and 15. Ball on the 47 yard line. The Jets come out in a nickel pack. Launches it deep to the left. He had the ball in his possession, but couldn't come down with both feet inbounds, and now they'll face a fourth down. Yeah, he'd love to have that throw back because he knows he would have had six. Simeon into return. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 11 yard line. Ball 
on their own 11. We'll start the drive at the 11 yard line. First and 10. Williams lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Gets the toss to the left. Norris is there for the tackle at the 12 yard line. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. One yard gain on that play. Second and nine. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Going to the right. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Third Stone looking to pass lines up with five wide receivers going for the deep man and he slips out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down and they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. to the table but the thing I like the most is how prepared he always is I mean he can run and he can tackle and he watches so much tape that he actually anticipates what the offense is going to run before they call the play Williams is the deep back closing in Rosen Stewart is there for the tackle at the 42-yard line. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw first with an even ten. better catch Ball is always an easy way to pick up line. first down. The Steelers with a four-man front. Looking for room, and he just got level. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one dimension, and that plays right into the defense's hand. Second and seven. Ball on the 40 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Stepping up, gets rid of it, and he lets it slip out of his grasp. He has the hands to make catches on the toughest pass. I'm a little surprised to see him drop that one. And this is the eighth play of this drive. The Steelers come out in a dime package. They don't get nothing. They get nothing. Drops back. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. Little comes up to make the play. At the 37, Huck can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up fourth down. Carey will try to give his team the lead with his field goal attempt. That one just barely got over the crossbar. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. The defense forced the punt the last time after three plays. Right. 
Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Only one man back. I'm Brady one. In motion. Hands it off to the back. Get to it. Number 92 is there for the tackle at the 20 yard line. It's second down and 10 to go. The Jets come out on a nickel pack. Hand it off. Great fake. Gets the pass off. Picked off. The 40. The 30. Swain picks the wrong spot to throw to. It'll be a turnover, John. Yep, sometimes you think you can sneak one by. Then the defense makes a great play on the ball and beat your receiver to it. First After the interception, they'll oh, set up oh, shot at the 26. Come on! Keep moving! Williams in the backfield. Let's run, man! Deucer, deucer. What's the hard count? Huh? Looking to run it here. Hart is there for the tackle. Williams kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard-earned yards. Inside the red zone. Ball on the 19-yard line. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. A little misdirection. Jackson comes up to make the play at the 10. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps First that he can use ball to escape out of the backfield. Yard. That just didn't happen here. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. They're blitzing, throws this one away. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. They do 10 for the touchdown. Ball on the 10-yard line. Williams, the deep man. Hands it off to the back. Jackson is there for the tackle. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. They need 10 for a score. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Looking for room. Fakes the handoff. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. He had to unload that pass in the hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunned the ball out of there. Three more points added to the board with that successful kick, his second so far. So after the field goal, the score is 6 nothing. Jets. Howry in to kick this one off. He got all of that one. The kick sails out of the end zone. The defense intercepted a pass their last time out. Four-man front gives the ball off. Great move to get free. The 30. Watkins comes up to make the play. Lewis fighting for yardage that time. He's able to reel off a nice game. Fire. 
Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. Gets rid of it. Nice adjustment. Jones is there on the stop at the 41. A successful offense is one that can run and throw for good yardage on first down. Eight-yard game. Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Jets line up in a 4-3. Under pressure. The line had some problems with their assignments on that play. They just couldn't get the defenders at bay. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard Let's go. Swain will work out of the shotgun. Drops back Get it with up. the throw. Knocked away. Warfield was his intended target. Randall on the cover. Jones is ready to pump this one away. Simeon looks like he's ready for the return. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 24 yard line. They'll take over at the 24 yard line. First and 10. Go make a play. Play hard and fast, baby. All right, here we go. Pressure. The defense likes to keep the pressure on. They'll bring extra guys on an overloaded side, hoping for turnover opportunities. Now it's second and long after the set. Hey, let's go. Here we go. The Steelers with a four-man front, looking upfield. It's loose. The Jets scoop up the fumble. And you know the defense is very angry at that missed opportunity. Third down and long coming up here. Stone spreads them out. Turn over, turn over, turn over. Throwing. Leap from the wide receiver. They get first down Next yardage on that the hookup. Results in a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. So at the end of one, the score is 6-0. Jets. The Steelers. The team says what size will start the second quarter. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38 yard line. Go low! Go low! Blue there, blue there. Only one man back. Thomas goes in motion. Watch the snap down. Hand it off to the back. Carson is there on the stop at the 45. If they can keep getting good runs like that in the second quarter, they'll be able to use play passes the entire second half as the defense will just be thinking about stopping the run. Second and four. Ball on the 45-yard line. Over to the right. Left, left. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. And off to the tailback. Bray is there for the tackle at the 46-yard line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. So a gain of about one. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. Everything you've got. Let's go. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. There's a slot going. Hands it off to the back. Carson belts him hard at the 46. Not getting the first down. That will probably bring out the punter.
Howry will come in now to punt it away. Shepard lines up deep for the punt return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 18 yard level. It's first and ten. Start the drive at the 18 yard line. First and ten. Here we go. Lewis, the long setback. They got nothing. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Midfield. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. is good. One play drive. They're out there giving each other high fives and telling each other what a great job they did. And they should celebrate. That's one of the plays that doesn't happen very often. Spielman comes in to kick off. And he got all of that one. A great kick. That one is out of the end zone. Just about ready to get this drive started after being forced to punt on their last possession. First and ten. Only one man in the backfield. Throws it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Dishman is there on the stop. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy is no exception. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 47 yard line. Check it. Goofy, goofy. Give me ball. Going to the air on first down. With the throw, number 96. Comes up to make the play. Number 88. Balls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. It's showtime, baby. Let's go now. Only one man back. Here they come. Incomplete. When you let the defense get into your backfield that quickly, bad things are going to happen to you. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. He hands it off. Dishman is there for the tackle at the 33-yard line. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. On the 33-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! The Steelers with a four-man front. Closing in. Rolling right, going long. And this defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passing. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving options, forcing him to just get rid of it. If this field goal attempt is good, it will give them the lead. 
Carrington contributes his third goal. field goal to cap the drive. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown, so getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't, so the next drive will get him a TD. Howry looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Good distance. This one is handled by Shepard. This one hasn't been decided yet. Each of these teams have played fairly well on both sides of the ball. So I could see this one getting decided by whoever has the last possession. All on their own 27. Drive at the 27 yard line. First and 10. The Jets come out in a nickel package. Come on. I can do it, a little misdirection. McDonald is there on the stop at the 31. Lewis busted through for a few tough yards. Ball on their own 31. Ball on the 31 yard line. Here we go. Gets rid of it. Watkins comes up to make the play at the 47 yard line. Is a perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns, can thread it in there against tight coverage, and he can put some air in when he's trying something downfield. Only one man back looking to run it here. Malone is there for the tackle at the 49. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. Throwing. It's batted away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass in a spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Warfield was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Third and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Let's go now. Let's go, boys. Lewis, go. the lone back. Deucer, deucer. On the team, team. Pressure coming. Steps up. The big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. He won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Jones comes into the game for the punt. Simeon back to return. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch. No one has really taken control so far in this one. It's still anyone's game. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the eleven yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Blue game, blue game. The Steelers come out in a four three. Stone with a man in motion. He'll pass on the first down. Got to him as he throws. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Ball on their own 11. Ball on the 11 yard line. It's showtime, baby. Watch each other back. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Throws it. Gray pulls him down. Give him some time, he'll hit his man. And the thing is, he doesn't care how big that window is. With his accuracy, everyone's open. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. We turn it up. On the ground. Play action. Throwing. And he's knocked out of bounds. 
at the 43. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. And they're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. First and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. One of us will make a play. Let's go, B. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. Came up to the tailback. They'll spot this one at the 44. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Two minute warning coming up. On the 44 yard line. Here we go. Watch out. A little misdirection. And comes up to make the play. His excellent positioning led to that stop behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll do that kind of thing. He's one of the smartest players at defensive end. He always seems to be in position. He uses his hands well. And he has those long arms. And that really helps him shed blocking. Watch your eyes. So two minutes left before halftime. The Steelers come out in a dime package. With the throw, picked off, it's intercepted. Stone throws that one right to the defense, John. Yeah, he thought he had his man, but the defender was able to make that one move to get position, and it was over. Gets the takeaway. They are now set to go at the 46. The Jets come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. With the pass on the sideline and out of bounds. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Warfield was the intended receiver on that play. Drops back. The pump fakes with the throw. Almost intercepted. Lewis was deep down the field, but couldn't haul it in. Watkins was there on the coverage. Third and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Chris shoot. They ain't got nothing. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. Throwing. Almost picked off. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle in that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Jones is ready to pump this one away. Simeon sets up, waiting for the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Great coverage by the kicking team as they downed it at the five-yard line. Yeah, they did a heck of a job of getting down there and setting up their defense with great field position. So they'll try to get a little breathing room here. Here we go, baby. It's showtime, baby. Williams, the long setback. And the counterplay. Number 96 is there for the tackle at the three. The defense made that play stretch further than the runner wanted to make it. It's second down and a long way to go. Hey, let's go. Hold on, nice, y'all. 
A little misdirection. Barely manages to get it out of his own end zone. Couldn't find any success in the middle. And the thing is, that's where it all starts, with alignment. And whoever can take control and dominate in the trenches is going to have a huge advantage over their opponent. They'll be facing the long third down play here. The Steelers with a four-man front. Hand off to the tailback. Jackson comes up to make the play at the four-yard line. That third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. His third chance coming up here. Andy signals for the fair catch. Fair it's catch still pretty man. early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. Right. So they have first and ten here. At the 41 yard line. First and ten. Swain back in the shotgun. Pass play here on first down. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Jones is there on the stop at the 30-yard line. This is what's hard for the defense. It's been a tough first half, and now when the offense runs a no huddle, they don't have much time to rest or regroup. That's why it'll be big if they can just hold them here to a field goal. The Jets with a four-man front. With the throw, incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He has a great feel for defending the pass. He always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Shepard was his intended target. Second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. The Jets come out in a 4-3. Steps up into the pocket. Under pressure. Wraps him up and brings him down. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Throws it. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Warfield couldn't make it to the marker and brings up fourth down. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Spielman is just about ready to kick this one away. Squib kick here. From the 18-yard line. Kick the momentum has been going back and forth so far. This one looks like it's going to be a close game right till the end. So they have first and ten here. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. They'll pass on first down. Launches this one to the right. Trying for the end zone before halftime. And this should be the last play of the half. Keep moving. Hey, let's go. Unleashes the deep ball. This one falls incomplete. 
It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Pittsburgh 10, New York 9. Howry in to kick this one off. This one is taken by Shepard. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. First and ten. First and ten. The Jets come out in a 4 3. Throws it. And this pass is completed. They'll knock him out of bounds. 34 yard line. John has proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. Ball on their own 34. Ball on the 34 yard line. They got nothing. Go low. Go low. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Hand it off. Malone is there on the stop at the 37. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. Gain of three. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. Will, 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 keep it up. Let's go. The Jets with a four man front. Aimed it off to the back. They'll spot this one at the 38. So that tackle was his third. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Third and five. Ball on the 38 yard line. Defense, get ready. Lewis, the lone setback. Hey, Swain the sends a man in motion. Let's go, boys. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Complete for the running back. He's pushed out at the 46. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry, but there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Picked up about six yards that time. Ball on the 48-yard line. Lewis, the lone back. Swain with a man in motion. Hey, watch the ball. Encroachment number three. So he's called for encroachment. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. Ball on the 43-yard line. Watch your eyes. Here we go, baby. Lewis, the long setback. With the throw, jumps and makes the catch. This one will be spotted at the 32-yard line. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Great throw to beat the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. Ball on the 32-yard line. Everything you've got. Only one man back. Pumps once with the pass. Drops the interception. Yeah, if he could have come up with that one, not only does it take away the scoring threat, but it gets the ball back for your offense. And this is the eighth play of this drive. We're talking about Let's run, man. The Jets line up in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. And he makes the grab. Brady is there for the tackle at the 17-yard line. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Right. 
Ninth play of this drive. They're threatening inside the 20. All right, here we go. Keep the throttle down. Here we are in the third quarter, and this is the first time they've been inside the 20-yard line. Gets rid of it. Intercepted in the end zone. I'll tell you, it's very important to have pressure on the quarterback. What that does is make the secondary's job a heck of a lot easier. And on that play, it led to an interception. So after the interception, now it's first and ten. William, the deep man. Nice play fake. Fires this one deep. Incomplete. If you're going to miss, it's better to miss long. You put it up there where your receiver is going to go get it. Now, if you miss, it'll generally end up in incompletion. And that's a heck of a lot better than missing short given the defense a shot at the interception. It was the one they were trying to get the ball to. The Steelers come out in the 4-3. Long throw. This one falls incomplete. So he's able to break up that pass and it saves what would have been a very big game. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Drops back, throwing. It's a screen. Dishman is there for the tackle at the 20. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin, and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 40-yard line. The it's Steelers first and will 10. start the drive at the 40-yard line. First and 10. Hold the look. Come on. The Jets with a four-man front. Here we come. Nothing. Gives the ball off. Setting up play action. Stepping up, throws to the end zone. He's there for the catch. Touchdown, Steelers. Look at the arm display here. He makes one heck of a throw to get it to the end zone. And he throws on the money, and that makes it even more impressive. The extra point attempt is good. That's why defenses have so much trouble against this ball club. It took just one play to score. Yeah, I've heard of a no-look pass in basketball. That was a no-look touchdown. The defense didn't see it coming. Spielman will be kicking off. Number 86, back deep to the top. This one is fielded by Simeon. Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. All on us, y'all. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. The blitz is on. Gets the pass off. Jumping and has it. Midfield. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, New York. 
I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. Two points. Comes in to kick off. This one is handled by Shepard. He couldn't stop them from getting into the end zone the last time out. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go, beat this. With the carry, great fake. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Warfield was the intended receiver on that play. down the middle. Braden had his hands on I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Third and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Come on! Let's go, boy! with a man in motion. Rowing. He was tipped. And the defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. From the 41 yard line. So he doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 49. It's first and 10. Start the drive at the 49 yard line. First and 10. Watch a man. The Steelers with a four man front. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hands off to the tailback. Jackson comes up to make the play at the 44. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on the 44-yard line. Ball on the 44-yard line. Tampa! Let's go, D. Let's go. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. Hush was his intended target. Williams is the deep back. Dropping back. Rowing. He finds his man. Stewart is there on the stop. X of 36. No, he's right on the mark with that throw. Third down is when you really need your quarterback to be sharp because the temptation to force something in is bigger. 
That time he found the right guy and he made a good throw. Of a 36 yard line. Here we go. The first. They'll go from the I formation. They're coming with the blitz. Gets rid of it. It's batted away. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Hutton was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Only one man back. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Good timing, getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Hey, let's go one deep. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Puts it on the ground. The Steelers pick it up. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin, and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. The only team might challenge this one. Sure enough, it'll the be ball. reviewed. The, the rule of the field is questionable. They might decide that they made an incorrect call and reverse it. Clearly a big momentum shift could begin the making as we take a look at a possible fumble. And they really had no choice but to challenge us because of what it could mean for both teams. I don't know. It's a tough call from seeing that angle. The player was down before the fumble occurred. So the coach looks a lot smarter after getting the play reversed in his team's favor. It didn't hurt that the official had some great replays to look at, and they made it easy to overrule. No pass on first down. Looks to the end zone. It's going the other way. The defense just gave them the ball a takeaway, but then they give it right back. Ready to go following the interception. The Jets line up in a 4 3. Blitz is coming. Throwing. The pass was incomplete. He had plenty on that pass, but it was off target. He has to learn to take a little bit off at some time. You don't want to try and guide it in there or put it up for grabs, but you also need to give your guy a chance to catch the ball. Second and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go, boys! Here we go, baby! Rock and roll! The Jets come out in a 4 3. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, here we go. Hand it off. Pickett uh -huh. is there for the tackle at the 22. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 22. Watson moves in motion. Throwing. The wide receiver has it. Jones is there on the stop at the 33. He zips that pass in there and picks up a first down. That was a smart play call. They reacted to the defensive set, and they come up with just the right play to beat it. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Get it, get it, get it. The Jets come out in a 4-3. To carry it, pressure. The rush gets to him from behind. They need some better blocking out of that offensive front. You have to use your hands, get them out in front of you, keep them inside, maintain leverage, and balance it. You need to hold those blocks and slow down the pass rush. 
Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Here we go, baby. Play hard and fast. Swain will work out of the shotgun. Great fake. Throwing. And the catch is made. Warfield, Warfield makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go. Swain from the shotgun. Watch three. One of us will make a play. Back. Court comes up to make the play at the 36. Pittsburgh fails once again to get the first down, and that's seven times. Yeah, and that's huge for the defense to keep stepping up on third down like that. They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. Jones will come in now to punt it away. Simeon is the deep return man. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. At the 21 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. Watch each other back. They'll go from the I formation. You gotta have it, deep. Uh -huh. They both now. Handed off to the back. Gray is there on the stop. Williams takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second and eight coming up here. It's a two-point game as we head to the final quarter of play with the score. Pittsburgh, 17. New York, 15. 15. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Second and eight. Ball on the 23 yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. The Steelers with a four man front. Kenzie is there on the stop at the 26. Williams runs it for about three on the counter play. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. They'll spot this one at the 31-yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch-up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. This might be a good challenge by the coach. The call on the field is questionable. They're going to review it, and this one might get reversed. John, they're trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. I'll tell you what, unless they're seeing something that we're not seeing, I don't think they're going to overturn this one. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ball will be placed with the dead ball spot. It was a close call, but there just wasn't enough evidence to reverse it. This is one of these cases where it's better to be safe than sorry. Is there for the tackle on the at the 34-yard line? The Williams point. takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. It's showtime, baby. Dropping back with the throw, nearly intercepted. Dishman with the coverage. Third and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. The lineup of six defensive backs. Closing in. Long throw. This pass is incomplete. After slung it downfield, looking for the big play. 
It just had too much arm on it. Thomas was the intended receiver on that play. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Howry comes into the game for the punt. Shepard is back to receive this kick. That one slips right through his hands. The Steelers fall on it. They almost gave it right back to them, but are able to get a good bounce. Ball on their own 16. Ball 16. The Jets with a four-man front. Brady comes up to make the play at the 16-yard line. He always displays great awareness, and he gets in there and brings him down for a loss. I'll tell you, he might be one of the smartest linebackers in the NFL right now. He anticipates, closes, then boom. He drags the ball carrier down for a loss. The Jets come out in a 4-3. Incomplete pass. A little bit long, overthrowing the receiver. That might have had something to do with his follow-through. If you release the pass just a little late, you're going to see underthrows or balls thrown into the ground. If you release it too early, then you'll see an overthrow like that. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Swain from the shotgun. Throwing. And he dropped it. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Simeon sets up to run back the punt. He signals for a fair catch. Fair this catch. is just the kind of situation they were hoping for. Now all they need to do is put together a last-minute drive, and they're going to come away with a win. And now it's up to the defense to shut them down. The Ball Jets right around will start the drive at the 48-yard line. First and ten. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. On the call. Spin to it. Wall is there on the stop. At the 46-yard line. The team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. It'll be first and long here after the penalty backs them up. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure coming. Throws it. And it's complete. The defender brings him down at the 40. Simeon didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here we go, baby. Work and roll. All day, baby. So, we'll work out of the shotgun. Under pressure, throwing on the run. Dishman with the stop at the 48. Stone over and over throws the ball where only his receiver can get to it. And that's what makes him so effective. He never seems to make a bad throw. Just about every pass is right on the money. If you ask me, Third he might be six. one of the most accurate ball passers in the league yard. right now. The Steelers come out in a nickel package with the pass. And he hits his card. Dishman comes up to make the play. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time, they needed to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. Pressure with the throw. Caught. Carson is there for the tackle at the seven. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chains. Watch this one. 
He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. He was there, got good position, then he saw it fall to the ground. It's second and goal at the seven-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Gets rid of it. Right on the mark. Stone throws it for the touchdown to give them the fourth quarter lead. They line up to go for two. Watch the snap now. Hey, let's go one deep. With the pass, knocked down at the line. The two-point conversion attempt fails. He's just about ready to kick this one away. Booming kick downfield. He got all of it. The kickoff goes through the end zone. This is one of those spots where they have to put something together because they're just running out of time. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Jets come out in a 4-3. Here we go, man. It's the toss to the left. Brady is there on the stop at the 20. He's there to make yet another outstanding defensive play. He made a name for himself with plays like that. He's one of those guys that every defensive coordinator would love to have on his team. He's smart, he plays with good intensity, and he's a heck of a leader on and off the field. The Jets with a four-man front steps up into the pocket. Swain gets dropped for a sack. Tremendous pass rush all day long. That's sack number six. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. Out of the gun. They're coming with the blitz. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Jones is ready to pump this one away. Semien into return. Fair catch called for. The Ball on their own 49. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Hand it off. Carter is there for the tackle at the 42 yard line. Pickup of about eight. Second and one. Ball on the 42 yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. Danny, Danny, Danny. Looking to run it here. Number 96 is there on the stop at the 42. These plays can end up with lost yards if the defense gets through or around their blocking quickly enough. On third down, they have to reach the 41 to convert. Watch out. It's showtime, baby. 
Williams, the lone back. Stone with a man in motion. With a counterplay. Kenzie gets right in there and brings him down. New York has been stopped on third down for the tenth time in the game. It's hard for the offensive coordinator to get his head around that stuff. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Good one going here today. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. We're talking about Reed. The Jets come out in a 4 3. Hey, watch the ball. Here they come. Gets the pass off. They'll spot this one at the 30-yard line. It's the fourth stop he's made today. And it looks like they're going to go with a no huddle. He'll pass on first down. Throws it. He was tipped. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Watson was his intended target. Second and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. All right, now. Let's go. One back. Lewis, the, the lone setback. Let's go. Heaving it over the middle. No completion there. He put the ball exactly Watson where you want to put it. The receiver on the play. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversion. Not today. The Jets come out in a nickel packet. Throws it. He was tipped. Well, that's perfect throw is wasted, and that could have been a very big play. here they they're gonna go for it looking for the long completion over the middle gets his hand on it they go for it and don't make it that was a conversion the offense needed they have to be disappointed and it's worse because now the other team has the ball the Jets will start the drive at the 30 yard line first and ten the Steelers with a four-man front. This will be spotted at the 28. He's able to run down another ball carrier for the seventh time. Six second down and eight to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Stewart is there for the tackle at the 27-yard line. Williams takes it up the middle for a yard or two. The 20-yard line would net them a first down here on this third down play. Out of the eye formation. This one is handed off. They'll spot this one at the 19-yard line. It's his third tackle of the contest. Look at that big guy go. Yeah, he took it, and he started rumbling down the field. He didn't stop until he had a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. 
Looks like they'll take a knee right here and savor the victory. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback.